that. Anyhow, thank you for remembering. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. You don't look too happy, are you sure? I'm alright, sweetheart. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm okay. Ah. Yeah, thank you very much. Hmm? I hope you're not staying too long. No, I won't be long. Okay? Take care of yourself. You don't buy this attire well, well now. I make you try go buy a new one. Brost our road. No our road. You know that's our road, B. Eh? Now Tokuba Tire and I'm good for all this kind of road we get for this country. You know what you go do, eh? I leave that place. You, you see that place from Commandale? Ah, uh, yes. Patch him again. You say make I patch him again? Try, I beg. I make you help me do quick. And my friends, they wait for me for club. 
But this thing don't get too much parts now. Nah, Oh wow, up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Why are you people this late? Is that what your problem is or are you talking about why he's so dusty and stained all over? What happened? Did you have a fall? For what happened to me today? I cease to be a man if by this time next year I don't avenge. Honestly, see, 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 you are not quarreling, eh? See, all of us here have the same opinion. Hmm? Yes. Huh? What, 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 what happened? Look, just look at me. Look at what my fellow man did to me. Mookie them. How did it happen? I am no longer interested in how it happened. But I have chosen to be a man over this issue. It's not a quarreling thing. No? I have been <clears throat> thinking of going to see a seer. Check out my destiny. If I'm going to be a rich man or a poor man. Seriously. <clears throat> um, I was thinking about the same thing. There is this prophetess I know of. They call her a woman of God. People say she prays for people and it works like magic. They prosper. I was thinking of going there by Monday next week. And maybe we should all go together. Okay. Look, look. Carlo, if I, does it Philip, wherever. Whenever, whatever, anything to be rich. Look at what a fellow human being did to Doze. Lele. Look, I, I'm game. Call it desperation. I am ready. Wherever. Obi, you know you talk too much most times. It's a matter of talking. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you sure you're ready? Yes. Okay. Is Monday okay by everybody? Uh, Monday, oh, is okay. Monday is okay. What Monday. time Monday? Let's make it about this time. No. Oh. Who can? Lose our game because of no, it has okay, to be no. in the morning. Okay. okay. Look, guys, we cannot stand here and argue. 
we've already come here. Let's just go, please. We all agreed to come here together now. Hallelujah, amen. I will do the work of God before my own. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. seven days, six to six, and pray for grace. Hmm. You shall ask the Lord for grace in all ramifications of your life that you lack grace. You need grace to grace your life. You need grace before man and before God. As you pray, may the Lord hear you and answer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That's okay. Call the next person. the Lord says you shall pray for the peace of God in your family. Hmm. See, the victory the Lord is wrought in your family over an age long dispute. But above all, upon your mother. Pray for wisdom. Ask the Lord for help. 
as you pray, may the Lord answer from heaven in Jesus' name. Visit the needy and the poor. And then wait upon the Lord. As he has said, at the appropriate time, he will visit you and your business. Is that all? <laughs> the words of the Lord, my brother very few, but the blessings thereof are many. Mm, I need to, is that all you have to say? If this is a kind of joke, better stop it. How can you bring her to, to this kind of place? Imagine. You shall do a 30 day prayer at midnight. Uh, and then every mark of Satan here. You're a useless man. <laughs> no, do they, do they calm down, calm down. Look, what has happened has happened. Let's not cry over spilled milk. There is another choice. But what I do not know is if you guys have the hearts to face it. Carlo, spare us all these details. If you have any solution, let us hear it. Let us hear, I am all out for knowing where to go to grease my destiny. So that I can be successful in life, even if you all refuse to go with me. If I perish, I perish. Carlo, let me ask you. Look at me very well. Is this life? No, this thing you see now, is this life? Is this what my mates drive? Check out. Eh? Is this life? Even if you means using our own blood, Carlo, take us there. We will go. Take us to that place. Let us all perish as friends. We live together or we die together. Yes. Let's no, go. I just want to be sure on one thing. This is a unanimous decision, yeah. right? Of course. Now, let's go. 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 That's why we are here. I see. Well, your case is a familiar but not a tasky one. You will mention just a few rich in this town who did not pass through the almighty mansion of Wellers. is a choice that comes with a sacrifice. You have a few years of your life ahead to live and marry and enjoy so much wealth and bounty and afterwards leave all your inheritance to your descendants and journey beyond. Um, simply put, you have 10 years of your life to live. You have a choice, a choice to say no and live in abject poverty.
if you all don't want to go, I'll go there myself and present myself to the sacrifice. Ah, yeah. Huh? What is man without money? What is man without money for God's sake? Let me tell all of you. It is not the number of years that you live that is important, but the quality that you bring into living. Uh, okay, huh? you're very, very uh, correct. Yeah, yeah. After all, Methuselah lived for how many years? Uh, he lived now and something years. What did he achieve? Uh, oh. Jesus Christ only came and lived for the years. And today we're still worshiping up to tomorrow. Because of that, you people should not decide for me. I can decide for myself. Because God should, should die in 10 years. We have God. I pray no, 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 no. I want it now. I want to make money. After all, okay, we all go. Okay, we all go. Let's go. Let's go. We should do the right answer too. My friend, we are going to do a unanimous decision. Okay. Ask whether you guys have the heart to do it. We will all go. But I'm scared. No, no, no. Almighty Wela, Almighty Wela, Almighty Wela, Almighty Wela, Almighty Wela. Almighty Willers, Almighty Willers, Almighty Willers, Almighty Willers.
Congratulations. You made it. And welcome to your days of glory. Let Almighty Willis be honored forever. Take care of your day. For the Almighty Willis will have no need for it. It's his morning! <laughs> this is our morning. Abuja is it. Abuja is it. <laughs> Cheers. <lacome on>. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Please sit down, sit down. Sit down. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, Night you had last night? Hmm? I expect that you should be resting this morning. Honey, mm -hmm. this house. Yes? This house 
Yes, what about this house? Uh, you've not gotten used to it yet? Yes, and I would never be. What? How do you mean you will never be? Yes, I mean I'm in the dark. I don't understand you. You're not the same man I married. Every day is one new thing or another. And yet I cannot understand how you made your sudden money. Your new name. Agujiebe. I guess you have a lot to explain to me. Well, never mind, sweetheart. I'm sure as the days goes by, you get to understand. Meanwhile, I like to rest. I didn't get to sleep very well last night. That's me, that's me. You are all welcome to my humble paradise mm. once again. Thank you. I'll see you Do justice to this. Thank you, Kalia. Maracuja. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Let me go straight to <clears throat> why I invited you guys over. Yeah. Uh, I received a message from Philip's family. Yeah. Inviting us to honor his memorial service. And I think we should do that in a grand style. <clears throat> we should capture that opportunity to display our wealth. Our success to the people. You got it. <laughs> so, Akukania, when exactly is the date? When exactly? Um, the date has not really been fixed, but the family holds us in high esteem mm. and thought they should inform us. But if we can remember, 20th of next month marks the year of the exactly. Exactly. Ah, Philip. Exactly. Philip. Akukania. Also, you won't. So it's already one year Philip left us. May God rest his soul. But you see, I have a problem. I have a huge problem. Arusego, what's the problem? <laughs> I'm still thinking of how I'm going to flaunt my wealth on that. I mean, should I? Walk on money? Should I trample on money? How am I going to spray? Yeah? Am, I, am I going to develop wings with money? Maybe I'm going to, maybe I'm going to find a helicopter. <laughs> Honestly. I thought I was the only one who had that problem. <laughs> yeah? My own problem is that I don't know which car to attend that occasion with. That's my own problem. I don't have a problem with that. Already I have two cars on the wraps. But I still don't think I'll use any one of them. <laughs> you should bring us something. No, 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 no. I'll use that one for a better occasion. Why don't you adopt your helicopter initiative? I think I need it. Uh, I need a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I will say no.
said in essence is that nothing happens from nothing. And thank God that your son is here to speak for himself. Wow. So Hygienus, over to you. <clears throat> thank you, Ikogo. Thank you. I quite appreciate the fact that you people care and show concern for my family so much to the extent of being careful that no ill-gotten money is spent on us to bring costs upon us. Um, I saw. Our people have tested, felt, and drunk from the cup of water you suddenly presented to the community. And now they want to know, how come all the money? Eh? How come the sudden influence and your new name, Ozi Bondo? Tell them, they are here. Papa, this is highly insulting. What are you insinuating? Does it matter that you know where a river gets its source before fetching and drinking from it? What matters is that I have declared scholarship to secondary level for every child in and of this community. I have contracted out to some firms, the building of more schools and a hospital. Roads are being worked on and electricity is soonest. What else matters? Tell me, what else matters? Now, look at me. Take a very close look at me. What do you see? No, no, look at me. Do I look like a thief? I am an honest to God, hardworking, responsible businessman who told his ass off in Abuja until God remembered him. Now, I am willing to channel my goodwill elsewhere if it's not appreciated in my father's land. What's all this for? After all I've done? What are you insinuating? What? My son, do not be angry. Are we not your kinsmen? We are no other people but your kinsmen who have your interest at heart. Mm -hmm. At times, we need the strong answers from wagging tongues and peering eyes outside the dead. Callum! Sit down. Sit down. Don't worry, sit down. Please, my son, come back. Please, understand us. We have nothing against you. We have your interest at heart. It's only that the Igwe has sent us for this message, and we cannot fail. We mean no harm, please.
Get the back. Get the back. Just give it, give it to me. Okay. Thank you. Good. Mama. <laughs> Hey. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's uh, where we pack the, all the cars, mm -hmm. garage, and um, where my workers live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, assuming I want them to live with me. And uh, all the water control in this house, that's where it comes from. From there. You know, this place. So you are the owner of this one? Yes. And this? This one. Yes. And the other one? Yes. Okay. Water fountain. Water flushes up, comes down. 24 hours, keeps on going up like that. And that's the beauty of the house. This way. When I have a lot of guests, and I cannot see all of them at the same time, so we wait here. That's the waiting lounge where we have meetings upstairs. There are about three sitting rooms upstairs. And here is the bar. Pick up any choice drink from here. You know, like you say, you drink, you're happy, if you're happy, you don't think no evil. Here is the dining hall. You make food in the kitchen. You serve here. You pick up the plates from here. The glasses. You make the table. Life is good. Life is easy. So, ma'am, I can now say to you, mama, welcome to my Abuja mansion. Mom, you mean this is your house? Yes. And you live here alone? <laughs> yes. Hey. If I get lost and I call out, will you be able to hear? <laughs> that will be uncalled for. You will not get lost. I'll make sure I show you all the exit points. So you will not get lost. My son, you have to start thinking of getting married. Mama. There are seasons. There are times for everything. Let me show you to your room. Welcome to Abuja. Oh, Jesus,
ke no makange nyeyo uti to makange nyeyo abonde so kanga bu iji gosi na iduku balume fechi neke o kanke to ke ni megi opongi o opongi sini ge budolumi bua o opongi sini ga bu nke mu manezianu na nomni rugi kanke to ke ni megi opongi o am i free to come in come in and join me my son Why are you laughing? Are you not familiar with the song? Uh -huh. um, where are we worshipping tomorrow? Or is uh, tomorrow not Sunday in Abuja? It is, but um, I will not be going to church with you. The driver will take you to the choicest parish in town. You see, Mama, your son is a very busy businessman who needs even Sundays to perfect his contracts online. Now, oh, come on, Mama, don't frown at your son. I'm only working harder and harder, so I'll be getting richer and richer to even build a cathedral for the Lord. Well, now, what do you think? Come on, Mama, release that smile for me. Hmm? OK. Can we now do the usual night devotion together? I now prefer to talk to God in the privacy of my bedroom. Hmm? Good night, my son. Thank you. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable. Mm. Average, average. Wow. Life is good. 
Oh yes, yes. life is life is good. good. What are you not talking about? We have all our right. I told you. The reason why I invited you people here is to let you people know that I have decided on my own to tow a particular lifestyle. Hmm. And when I mean a lifestyle, yeah. I want to be moving in convoy. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to do. This man, as we speak right now, I have the commissioner of police right in my pocket. That's right. <laughs> that is what we want. And as a result of that, I have imported some cars. Mm. And these cars will bear customized plate numbers. All right. All right. Like Agu Jebe. Right. One. Agu Jebe. Two. Agu Jebe. Three. Agu Jebe. Four. Four. Agu Jebe. Five. 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 Where do we stop? Eight, nine, ten. Two hearts! <laughs> come, my dear, come, my dear. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Come here. Come here. Come here. You will live long. Don't be rosy, bro. A good job, Hope you're right. <laughs> Go and get married. It's very important. So, uh, gentlemen, you're here. Uh -huh. Good. Yes, uh, you can go now. Sir? I told you. I told you. <laughs> this man. This man, the eyes, you are becoming mischievous. Your eyes are not very. That's one of the things that rich men enjoy. Mischievous. Your eyes, are, enjoy, not, enjoy your your eyes are not very good at all. Why are we friends? Uh -huh. Not enjoy each other's wives. Are you married? Uh -huh. This is a koyak. Or that. Argo himself. Poor man, leave that thing, leave that thing. Give it back to him real fast. You're not used to this time. You're not used to it, give it to him. Otter! No, it is not called Otter. Otter. And this is not ever white. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. Bob, let's drink. Okay. Okay. You should pop. Are you getting drunk or something? No, no. He didn't get drunk most of the time. Okay. Very good, very good, Koyak. Wait, let me drown this so you can do it. Go ahead. You do come with your chauffeur. Obia. The driver didn't come along. Obia is good. I know. I told you. Obia. That's enough. That's enough. I still want to see you tomorrow. And I'm facing okay. Um, I'm I pass. How's that a bundle? Well, I mean, let those of us who understand the language of Nico. Let those of us who understand what good plan is all about. Let us drink. This is going. Cognac? You see, you're a bushman. What is cognac? What is not cognac? <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. Um, Agu Jebe, Ozole Bondo, Agu Kalia, let us play glasses. Mm. May we always hit it. Mm. Yes. May they always be blind. Mm. Life will continue to be good. Yes. 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 <laughs> when they are in front, we will be behind. When they are behind, we will be in front. <laughs> I've got cash, cash, cash. I've got money to spend. I will give you anything you need. I've got cash, cash, cash. I've got money to spend. There is nothing my money cannot buy. Take it easy.
supposed to converge at uh, Eagle Lodge, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, that way, the only thing it would be nice for us to leave our own escorts while you send your own escort to lead us to the place. I think that way it would be more graceful. Don't you think so? Exactly. That's, a, that's a better idea. Yeah. Makes no sense. Yeah. Okay, if you guys say so. But guys, listen. I want you people to do me proud on that day. I want you guys to paint that village red. <laughs> See, every 
current situation I know, everybody paints social gatherings in red, right? We should look for a unique color to adorn our own celebration. Not red. Does it bond? <laughs> Leave the color to us. Hey, I trust you, I trust you. We are coming there to make you <coughs> proud. I trust you. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I go himself. <laughs> oh, sorry, bro. Hey, I'll see you. Don't worry, brother. I trust you.
gentlemen, it is now time to introduce Bride Chimezie, the singing of sound, as we expect the bride to the arena. <laughs>
So, what brings you to the Whalers once again after so many years? Great one, we have come to solicit your help. It's ten years and one of us is already dead. Yes, I know. What else? Well, I guess it shouldn't be strange to you. You should have expected it. That was the agreement. Well, if you don't mind, I have an important meeting. Sir, 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 please, please. You can't just walk out like that. We're talking about our lives, yes. human lives. And where was your conscience when you decided to accept Willa's condition of making you wealthy? Where was your conscience? Please, uh, we didn't know that 10 years would, would come that fast. We didn't know. It didn't come any faster than the previous 10 years of labor. But it is so in your eyes because you got carried away by the sweetness of life and the sweetness of money that you didn't remember. You didn't remember to number or count your days. Nor did you remember to seek the advice of the servant of the almighty Willis for the whole ten years. Now tell me what do you want me to do for you? How do you want me to help you? Odumodu is a wise man. Another like him is a man called Ogirishi. Never has a month passed by without them showing up at the temple for a renewal of their sacrifice. Now tell me, how do you want me to help you? Great one, please. Are there no other alternatives that we can consider? We don't want to die. No, we don't want to. Please. You can rewind the hands of time, please. Yes. You shall make an urgent submission of life as exchange. If you must leave. And if it is important to you, you have to wait for me until I come back. Sacrifice that the lives of my wife and kids will be used to exchange for mine. If I and so what? Eh? There are several older women out there, more beautiful, more presentable than, than your wife and Kiro. Mm -hmm. Obia, don't insult my wife. I'm not insulting you. Don't wife. insult my wife. I'm not insulting your wife. I, I'm just telling you a home truth. So many other women that you can engage and they will raise for you a beautiful breed of children. Why you sit down if I relax and enjoy your wealth? Eh? Look at me. If I look at me, do you know what it means to be paralyzed? Do you know what paralysis is? I will sit down and before my very nose, some other people will enjoy my wealth. God forbid. I'd rather die. Now tell me, what about me who has to sacrifice my mother? If I could replace his wife, how could I replace my mother? This is one problem I have with Jose Fine. Jose, this is one problem I have with you. Jose, you never ever reason. You never ever. I know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? I'm talking about an old woman. My mother is not just another woman. She's just one old black woman. That's what I'm so called Jose. She's a woman that just got out of the grave. If I'm talking about If I'm talking about her, if I'm talking about her, if I'm talking about her, what are these you're talking about? Jose, listen to me. Jose, no, 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 no. Look. What has your mother's suffering brought for you? Old, poor old woman. What has suffering brought to your life? I 
can assure you that whatever it is your mother is enjoying today is by dint of your hard work. Simple. Did her prayers change anything when you were poor and living in abject squalor? We're talking about the lives of young men like you and I who have not even enjoyed life and you have to look, talk about something more serious. Oh, please. please, when are we going for the sacrifice? And to think that while we are here, trying to sort out our lives, while I'm thinking about how to go about this paralysis thing, an uncle sauntered into my house only yesterday. Do you know what he came to say? Uh, 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 I want you to uh, set up a business for my son. For me to set up a business for his son. Oh, I will sacrifice my life to make money while they will enjoy clean money. And if you tell him what you did to make money, he will run away. Why didn't you tell him to go and bring his mother? Look, look, look. Don't, say, don't bring in your mother. Your mother must die. So and you must, must be paralyzed. And your family too will be finished. We will go and do the sacrifice. So where are we going? This is for your mother. Once she puts it on, she will die. And the rest of life she was supposed to live will be transferred back to you. If I take this. Your wife and kids will die in a motor accident. Hit it on each of your four tires three times. Your wife will drive away with the kids and they will never come back. Obiora. Since you said you didn't like the alternative of being paralyzed throughout the rest of your life, you have no choice other than to wait since your death comes. Why don't you go in this car, all right? The driver's already washed it. Hmm? Oh, but you know I prefer this car to the other ones now. Besides, it's not too dirty. I know, I know. Come here, sweetheart. 
You see, I always love it when I see you in this. Hmm? Please. Please, my angel, please, okay? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Jack. Let's use the other car, please. All right, boy. Come on, yeah, boy. Come, come, come here. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Ah. Oh. All right. Jack. Sir. Give me the All right, boy. All right. You are your four. Alright. So you sit with mommy here, eh? Good. Mm. Off you go. Good boy. Alright. Ah, ah. oh. Be a good boy in school, eh? And daddy loves you. Okay? Alright, sweetheart. Same drive. Sure will. Bye. It's me fine, you're fine, you're fine. But they look, I'm getting worried. Very worried. Because what are you to look? I have done everything I ought to do. Everything. She left with the kids to school and she's not back yet. Over three hours now. Do I raise alarm? Does it hold on, hold on, hold on? That's happened. As I speak with you right now, I see some policemen coming into my compound. Is it? That's happened. I'm sure they're here to tell me that she's dead. Dozy. Come on, I'll call you back and let me just see you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, what can I do for you? Uh, sir, we are looking for number 31 on Zog Road. My friend, is anything wrong with you? Did you see the number written right down the wall there? Did you see it? Will you get out of this place before I lose my mind? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Let's go.
see your back. How do you mean so I returned? And what were those policemen doing here? I'm sorry. It's, it's just that like you made me raise a false alarm. That, that was why I sent for the policemen. They came here so they could go look for you. Uh, you've been gone for a long time. Just to go drop the kids. It's past three hours now. Nah, uh? You worry too much. I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? There was a terrible accident at the head bridge. It caused a serious hold up. I didn't even know I would be able to get through by now. I didn't mean to scare you, okay? I'm sorry. Man, you scared me so I'm much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay, come on. God, I was so scared. Are you wearing this now? Huh? Who will you ever wear the one I bought for you? Or don't you like it? I mean, that's not a way to appreciate what a son is doing for mother. Okay, I'll wear it another day. Oh? Or uh, is this one not okay? It's okay, but not okay for this particular occasion. I mean, this is Abuja. People want to see Dozier's mother. Okay, you win. Let me go inside and change to that one you bought for me. Huh? you find your way home? My son, I found out that the program was not meant for old people like me. And I didn't want to disturb you and your friends. I went and picked a taxi. I only told him I was going to my son's house to see. He now said, Nkatego. Uh, he brought me here. Thank God I was with the kids. My son, you are very popular. Very, very popular in this town. Hi. So I slept off, eh? Yeah. Any problem? No, no, it's, it's only that uh, I was wondering what life would have been without a good company like you in Abuja. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. The phone upstairs is ringing. Let me get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm coming. After wearing the cloth, nothing happened to her. Well, I said to myself, to give her some time. We went to the party, came back, 
No show. In fact, that night she looked younger than ever. I thought it was a dream. After I had gone to pay the undertakers, paid for the best casket in town. Dozy, wait until you've heard my own side of the story. Do you know that after preparing a very good send off for my wife and children, bidded them bye bye, final bye bye, and they in turn bidded me final bye bye? What happened? To my utmost surprise, just threw back into the house alive. If I. Does it? The long and short of all that you've been talking about is try again. Try again. Or alternatively, go to amazing. For him to evolve another strategy that will show you through these predicaments. As for me, I've resigned myself to fate. I have elected to go the way of Carlo and Philip. I don't see you go. Why don't you choose the alternative of becoming paralyzed instead of dying? Do you know that in life there is nothing worse as death? If I if I, I wish you could hear yourself talk. Do you know what it means to be paralyzed? Do you? If I... To watch other people enjoy your wealth before your very eyes and to do nothing about it. <laughs> no way. If I am not going to enjoy my wealth, then nobody else will. So what are you going to do about it? I have started selling my assets to see. I've started divesting my investments, shares, and interests. And whatever I make from all of these, I'll check into the most expensive hotel and lavish it to the last dime. After which, after which I'll just, I'll just die. your wife a new car and use the object as I earlier on instructed and you will see what happens. As for you, Dozier, your mother must die. Let her wear her dress to sleep next time. Whichever you have to do, be quick about it. Time is not your friend. to do as uh, he instructed. Do you see? I don't know. I'm getting tired of this whole thing. But your mother, you know? She has refused to die.
This My son, are you okay? Please tell me what is the problem. Tell me what is the problem. Who brought this in?
supposed to go with you to the hospital to see those here. Listen to me, Kiro. You're taking this kids to school is more important to me. You can always come some other time to see those here with me. But you must take them to school. I'm sorry. I will. By the way, why are you not taking them to school in a new car but for you? But honey, I think I should launch the car in a better way before using it to take the kids to school. What better ways are you talking about, Unkiru? Now, will you transfer these kids to a better car and stop arguing with me? What do you expect the teachers and other children to think about me? That my kids are brought to school every day in a particular car? You want to bring down my status? Is that what you want to do? Now, will you transfer them to this car, quick? What are you doing in there? Will you come down and help out and transfer these kids to that car? Vanity, always vanity. Better still, you the world, if you want the driver to take you, you can always do without. Vanity, always vanity. When you gain the world and lose your soul. What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? So, 
towards the audience. Amazing. As I speak to you right now, both of them are bed reading. That is why they have sent me to you. The big question is, should, should they kill the women themselves? Since every other strategy has failed to yield the desired result. Of course, no. If they kill their target themselves, it will not prevent anything. So let Almighty Willers do it himself. Let them do it as sacrifice. If you lay your hands on them, it will be mother. But what, what, what do you advise? Oh, Mesa, what do you advise? Both of them are at the point of death, you may say. They are dying. If you listen to my instruction, just watch and pray. Something might still happen. Watch and pray. Okay, amazing. What about me? What about me? I had long accepted my faith. I had long accepted to die. Omeze, I have sold off my entire estate. I have divested my investments and my interests. Yet, it has failed to come. <laughs> no one knows when Willis takes his own. Death gives no time to any man. So, wait, it will surely come. Something like that. Something today? Doctor, how can I? 
How can I when my son is dying? <laughs> Your son will not die, madam. Put yourself together and find something. What baffles me most is the fact that we've not been able to diagnose the actual cause of this ailment. Oh. All the same, we are still carrying out some tests on him. Oh. Believing God, with him all things are possible. Oh, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Don't do this to your mother. Don't do this to your mother. Don't do this to your mother. Mm. 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 Well, madam, if at the end of the day, we are not able to diagnose the cause of this ailment. I think the only option we may have is to pray. But I've been praying. Instead of him to improve, he's getting worse every day. I understand. I know you've been praying. Me too. We all have been praying. But you see, when special conditions like this occur, we need special prayers from special men and women of God. And if I may ask, do you know of any man of God? All my life I've never seen one. I only hear of them. I don't mean the diabolic ones, huh? because there's this one that I know. She has been here a number of times to pray for my patients and miraculously, they get better. As it is, I don't mind anyone. I'm getting tired. How do we get to this woman you're talking about? Did your husband tell you anything about the sickness? No, he didn't. Tell your husband to release himself. He knows why he is in this condition. There's a secret mission he embarked on, which is yet to reveal to you. Wake him up. Do, do I get the doctors to do that? Wake him up. The doctors has no say to this. This is a matter of life and death. Look into my face. Can you recognize me? So what was the prophecy you received the day you came to the house of prayers? You said that the Lord said I should wait upon him and that he will prosper me and my business at his own time. So what did you do after then? I wanted it faster than God's time. So I, 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 I went, we, we, we went to see Omeze of the Wellers Temple. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, foul spirits. The Bible said that when I rebuke you, you will flee away. Therefore, flee in the name of Jesus. Speak in Jesus' name. So, he said, he will make us rich and that the wealth he will give to us will last for only 10 years. So we all agreed because My friends and I have watched people over all these years intimidate us with the good things of life. And now, the 10 years has elapsed. And this is the consequence. And what is the consequence? Tell us to save your life. wife and my family that there will be a pre-arranged motor accident that will kill them so that our lives can be exchanged with theirs. Oh my god. Don't tell me this is true. Surat, come on. Why don't you go in this car, all right? The driver's already washed it. Hmm? Oh, but you know I prefer this car to the other ones now. Besides, it's not too dirty. I know, I know. Come here, Surat. You see, I always love it when I see you in this. Hmm? Please, please, my angel, please, okay? Mm? Mm? Yeah. Um, Jack, yes, let's use the other car, please. All right, boy, come on, yeah, boy, come, come, come here. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Ah. All right, Jack, sir, please, okay. So I returned, and what were those policemen doing here? I'm sorry, it's it, it just that you made me raise a false alarm. That, that was as, why I sent for the policemen. They came here so they could go look for you. Huh? You've been gone for a long time, just to go drop the kids. It's past three hours now. Nah, huh? You worry too much. I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? There was a terrible accident at the head bridge. It caused a serious hold up. I didn't even know I'd be able to get through by now. I didn't mean to scare you, okay? I'm sorry. Man, you scared me so I'm much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay, come on. God, I was so scared that I had to go to you. What are you trying to do? I ask you, what are you trying to do? How many times have I told you in the past never to let the driver take my kids to school when you're around? Well, honey, am I not supposed to go with you to the hospital to see those here? Listen to me, Kiru. You're taking these kids to school is more important to me. You can always come some other time to see those here with me. But you must take them to school. I'm sorry. I will. By the way, 
Why are you not taking them into school in a new car but for you? Well, honey, I think I should launch the car in a better way before using it to take the kids to school. What better ways are you talking about, Nkiru? Now, will you transfer these kids to a better car and stop arguing with me? What do you expect the teachers and other children to think about me? That my kids are brought to school every day in a particular car? You want to bring down my status? Is that what you want to do? Now, will you transfer them to this car, quick? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not time to cry, my sister. Your vow with him at the altar says for better for worse. He is certainly going to start from square one. He must do as the Lord instructed. He must wait upon the Lord, says the Spirit of the Living God. But, but man, he's so rich that he may never be born again. How do we destroy the riches he made from the rulers? Watch and see the salvation of the Lord. Let's pray for him. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you release this man wherever his life is tied. Brother, ask every hand that is holding him, let it be broken in Jesus' name. Let it be broken in Jesus' name. Father, I set him loose in the name of Jesus. Father, I rebuke every hand that is binding him. Yes, in the neighbor's house. Yes. Get into the car. Okay, sir.
Yes. If I yes me. Mama. How is it? If I do, please come to my aid. My son is dying. Do everything you can to save my son, please. Well, nothing will happen to him. Be strong. Be strong, Mama. Be strong. I promise you, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll be in the hospital. Uh, please. His mother. <laughs> Young man, the Lord will give rest to your soul, but you have to free yourself first. Is there anything you know about this condition of yours that you've not let your mother know? Say it now, or forever hold your peace. The less I insisted you were, was meant to cause your death. Your case is a familiar but not a tasky one. You will mention just a few rich in this town who did not pass through the almighty mansion of Wellers. is a choice that comes with a sacrifice. You have a few years of your life ahead to live and marry and enjoy so much wealth and bounty and afterwards leave all your inheritance to your descendants and journey beyond. Um, simply put, you have 10 years of your life to live.
Congratulations. You made it. And welcome to your days of glory. The almighty willers be honored forever. Take care of your dead. So what brings you to the willers once again after so many years? Um, great one, we have come to solicit your help. It's ten years and one of us is already dead. Yes, I know. What else? Well, I guess it shouldn't be strange to you. You should have expected it. That was the agreement. Well, if you don't mind, I have an important meeting. Sorry, 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 no, please, please. You can't just walk out like that. We're talking about our lives, yes. human lives. Yes. And where was your conscience when you decided to accept Willa's condition of making you wealthy? Where was your conscience? Please, uh, we didn't know that 10 years would, would come that fast. We didn't know. It didn't come any faster than the previous 10 years of labor. But it is so in your eyes because you got carried away by the sweetness of life and the sweetness of money that you didn't remember. You didn't remember to number or count your days. Nor did you remember to seek the advice of the servant of the almighty willers for the whole 10 years. Now tell me, what do you want me to do for you? How do you want me to help you? Odumodu is a wise man. Another like him is a man called Ogirishi. Never has a month passed by without them showing up at the temple for a renewal of their sacrifice. Now tell me, how do you want me to help you? Great one, please. Are there no other alternatives that we can consider? Please. We don't want to die. No, we don't want to. Please. You can rewind the hands of time, please. Yes. You shall make an urgent submission of life as exchange if you must leave. And if it is important to you, you have to wait for me until I come back. Dozier, this is for your mother. Once she puts it on, she will die. And the rest of life she was supposed to live will be transferred back to you. There's no problem. The hotel management wants you to pay off your bills or you face the consequences. Look, manager, you see, I am actually expecting some money. Enough of your flimsy excuses, Mr. Luciego. Do you know how much bills we are talking about now? I, I know. I, I'm just going to say, For I over have... three months, you're not paid a dime, and you, want, and you expect us to do what? Do you know the status of the hotel you are in? I know. You, see, you either pay up your bills or I call the security man on you. Look, look, let me explain this. I'm sure you will understand. Look, man. Good day. There is this man that is. There is this.
vanity, all is vanity. When you gain the world and lose your soul, vanity, all is vanity. When you gain the world and lose your soul, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? We're asking after someone, Who is he? I want uh, Obiora Umez. What well, is popularly known as Alusi. Oh, he checked out yesterday. Of course. So, did he leave any forwarding address where he's going to? He didn't. Are you sure? Of course. Is this on Lina Hotel? It is. For one Obiora. He's popularly known as Alusiego. Oh, he doesn't stay here any longer. I see. But is this not his house? This is his house, but uh, he prefers staying at the primary school hall these days. Primary school hall? Oh, yes, he wants to be left alone. Uh, please, uh, can you show me the primary school hall, please? I'll okay, show you the place. Come, let's go. You see? You go straight like this, you reach a mango, big mango tree by the right. You follow that way, you see the primary school field. That's where he stays in the hall. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, bye bye.
viewers. The Lord has said that he will visit us but at his own time. As I speak to you right now, go. Visit the poor and the needy and then wait upon the appointed time. These were the exact words of the Lord to me. You may say that your case is different from mine and that of my friends. Yes, you might be correct. But let me tell you something. Every cloud has its own lining and no condition is permanent. The only problem we face there on earth is the problem of ego. And it is normally brought about by selfishness and idol worshipping. My brothers and sisters, what is that idol you pay homage above God? What is it? Do you worship cars? Ask yourself. Do you worship money? All my brothers and sisters are vanity. Vanity, I say, oh, it's vanity. Repent. 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 And follow the ways of the Lord. Because the road you face today might lead you to eternal. Salvation. I've got cash, cash, cash.